morning class, this is Mamado. Welcome to Mamado Classroom. Our lesson for today is about addition of the similar fraction using butterfly method. Okay? How to add the similar fraction using butterfly method? So we have here one fourth and two fifths. So the first thing that we need to do is to multiply the denominator. So four times five is twenty. And then the next step is to multiply the numerator and with the denominator 1 times 5 is 5 and then multiply 2 times 4 and that is 8 then we have to add the numerator 5 plus 8 is, and then copy the denominator. 5 plus 8 is 13 over 20. So that's it. Okay, another example class. We have 6 over 4 plus 3 over 7. So the first thing that we need to do is to multiply the denominator of 4 and 7. So that, that is 4 times 7 is 28. Then 6 times 7 is 42. Then 4 times 3 is 12. Then next step is to multiply or to add 42 and 12. So, 42 plus 12 is 54. Then, copy the denominator of 28. Then, 54, we need to get the lowest term for this. So, 54 over 28. So, the, the common factor for 54 and 28 is 2. So, 54 divided by 2 is 27 then 28, uh, 28 divided by 2 is 14 so we also need to change this to lowest term so 27 you divide it by 14 so the answer is 1 1 times 14 is 14. Then, 27 minus 14 is 13. So, the answer is 1, 13 over 14. Okay? Okay, class, I want you to try this. So, I will give you time to think and solve the problem. Okay, class, let us see your answer. 2 3rd plus 4 over 7. So, let us uh, see. Okay, correct. So, you multiply 3 times 7 is 21. And 2 times 7 is 14. Then 4 times 3 is 12. So the next step is to add 14 and 12. So that is 26. And then you just copy the denominator. Then after that, we have to change 26 over 21 to lowest term. So we need to divide 26 by 21 by 21 
So the answer is 1, then 21 times 1 is 21, then 26 minus 21 is 5. So our answer is 1 and 5 over 21. Okay? Okay, let us see your answer number 2. We have 1 fourth plus 5 over 6 is equals to 24. So 4 times 6 is times 6 is 24. Then 1 times 6 is 6 and 4 times 5 is 20. So we have to add the numerator 6 plus 20 that is 26 and then we just copy the denominator. So we have to get the lowest term for 26 and 24. All we have to do is just you divide 26 by 24. So we have 1. 1 times 24 is 24. Then 26 minus 24. That is 2. So we have 1, 2 over 24. So we have to get also the lowest term for 2 and 24. So we have uh, 2 over 24. We have 2 times 1 and 2 times 12. So we have to cancel both number 2. So what is left is 1 over 12. So the answer is correct. 1 and 1 over 12. Okay, class, let us see your answer. Okay. So 7 over 7 over 10 plus 1 fourth. So we have to mul multiply this one. Seven, uh, no, 10 times 4 is 40, correct? Then we multiply 7 times 4 is 28. And then 10 times 1 is 10. Then add the numerator. 28 plus 10, that is 38, correct? Then copy the denominator of 40. So this one, we need to change this to lowest term. So 38, the common factors for 38 and 40 is 2. So when you divide this by 2, 38 divided by 2 is 19 and then 40 divided by 2 is 20 say correct next let's see your answer so we have 1 third plus 8 over 27 so you have to multiply 3 and 27 and that is the answer is 81 then 1 times 27 is 27 8 times 3 is 24 so you you add 27 and 24 that is 51 and copy the denominator of 81 so we need to change this to lowest term so 15 you divide it by the common factor of 3 so 15 divided by 3 is 17 81 divided by 3 is 27 okay your answer is correct okay let us see your answer so we have three times seven is 21 two times 7 is 14 and then 
4 times 3 is 12. So, 14 plus 12 is 26. Then, copy the denominator. Now, change 26 and 21 to lowest term. So, you need to divide 26 by 21. So, this is 1. So, this is 21. I know. So, the answer is 5. So, our answer is 1, 5 over 21. Okay, correct. Very good. Okay, class, I want you to keep in mind. To add the similar fraction using butterfly method, we have we need simply to multiply the denominator and then multiply the numerator and the denominator using the butterfly method. Then add both the numerator, then change your answer to lowest term. Okay class, I hope you learned something today. This is Mamado. Thank you and see you on our next lesson. Bye!